we can confirm that we've been formally notified that uh, we won't be having Indian tour this year. Um, uh, Brisbane will host the first test um, of the summer, um, Australia versus India. Uh, we have been um, notified that Afghanistan um, will play here. Um, and I want to make it clear that um, uh, hosting a test is a privilege, not a right, and we understand that. And we're as privileged to host Afghanistan um, as anyone else. And we'll certainly um, put on a really good show and welcome Afghanistan to the um, test arena in Australia. Um, but suffice to say, uh, not having India tour here for the second time in six years is very disappointing for us, um, for our members, for our fans. Um, and, uh, you know, I dare say for the government who's put in a lot of time and effort into creating a stadium that's been recognised around the world um, as the most beautiful stadium in the world and in fact was rated by Stadiums Australia in a survey they and the second best cricket ground in Australia. Um, so we've been a, a little bit um, uh, bemused and disappointed how um, we haven't been scheduled um, for one of the prime um, series of um, uh, in the cricket calendar. Um, uh, this is not about Brisbane or the Gabba. Uh, they, like us, have to fight for their um, uh, uh, fans and uh, their cricket community. However, all the metrics um, associated um, uh, with cricket uh, over the last two years see us um, surpass Brisbane in every area, whether that's crowds, broadcast ratings, um, even better rainfall at that time of year, more corporate seats, um, just so many indicators. And as I said, a brand new stadium. And when um, Australian cricket's primary objective is fans first, it is astounding that the 10,000 members who pay money to support cricket year after year in this state are not afforded um, uh, the number one uh, test, schedule, test team um, to tour next year. Is it a slap in the face, Christina, from Cricket Australia, given all those facts that you've listed out and you've got a $2 million brand new stadium? Our, our wonderful chairman, Tuck Waldron, has referred to it as a kick in the guts, and uh, I don't think there's any better phrase um, for that. Um, it, it seems to me that anything um, uh, west of um, Melbourne um, doesn't get the same consideration. Um, as anything um, uh, around the East Coast. Um, now, I say that as someone who was born in Melbourne, lived in Sydney, and having um, uh, made my home in, in Perth, um, but it is a whole lot harder for us um, to get attention um, than it is um, for other states. Have you been given much indication as to why? Have you been given a list of what the reasons or anything like that? Uh, yeah, look, we're, we've been told commercially um, a Brisbane is more viable. Um, for Australian cricket and uh, that over an eight year touring period from, nine, uh, from 2015 through the 2023, WA has a better schedule than anyone else. Um, now I'm not really privy to what's going to happen in the next three years, um, but uh, that, they were the key reasons. Is that frustrating given all we're at, especially the time we're at the moment when it's financially tough enough that the promise of something that you don't understand, that you don't, you don't know about in terms of the future, I mean, like that, is it? Is that oh, look, the, the, the uh, biggest issue for us is one, um, the government invested hundreds and thousands of dollars to make Perth Stadium um, uh, cricket friendly from the start. So all the facilities for cricket were built into that. And at the time, Cricket Australia gave a, a guarantee to the government that they would absolutely be utilising that stadium um, to its fullest. Um, and also, um, as I said, we have over 10,000 members who year after year invest in cricket. Um, and uh, in this case, uh, Brisbane has none. Um, so um, fans, rusted on fans are here. The crowds are better. Um, the um, facilities are better. Um, the corporate hospitality is um, got more flexibility and more potential. Um, so um, yeah, to us, it, it, it doesn't quite pass the pub test. You did say it was a privilege um, to host Afghanistan still. Yeah. But there must be a significant financial difference as far as what you'd be expecting if you're hosting India compared to Afghanistan. What kind of impact are you expecting it to have? Well, the, the, the first impact potentially, we obviously um, hope that our members will continue to support us, but we have to factor in that that could be a three or four million dollar hit to us on membership alone. Um, and, um, you know, those things are not considered when these decisions are made. Um, they're not necessarily looking at the hardcore cricket fans 
when they're making those decisions. Now, that's my assessment of it, um, but you know, uh, this is the second time we haven't been had India scheduled. The last time we were told is because our venue wasn't good enough. And um, you know, if we supported a new stadium, this would never happen again. And here we are again. Any concerns that it being hosted earlier in the year that it might not go ahead this, um, against Afghanistan? Uh, as far as we know, uh, the same uh, discussions uh, with the federal government about getting teams here is for all teams who are coming this year, not just India. Um, so um, I I'm not privy to what the parameters are, but there, there will be a biosecurity plan that includes Afghanistan as well. Look, uh, it's like anything. Um, you get a couple of days to digest and then you move on. Um, we have a, a duty to the um, cricket fans here, to Afghanistan as a visitor to our state, um, to ensure that we provide the best possible facilities and um, uh, uh, enjoyment for them as we possibly can. And, uh, you know, let's not forget, it is a history-making test. Um, uh, they've never played test cricket in Australia. And so once again, Western Australia will be part of um, history. Um, and we continue to demonstrate how well we do those things. So um, uh, there'll be no different um, with Afghanistan, but, um, uh, you know, I I think when we see India fly across the top of us to the other side of the country, um, we might shed a little tear. <laughs> and how, how hard is it going to be to put together this match against Afghanistan? Will there be an increase in people coming back to the WACA to assist in the preparations? Uh, well, the match is scheduled for Perth Stadium at the moment. So we have contractual obligations to Perth Stadium. Um, and until we're, uh, we know what those implications are, the match will be scheduled at Perth Stadium. Just on the, um, the Cricket World Cup, there's a bit of talk that possibly tomorrow we might get an announcement that it's um, you know, been scrapped. Have you uh, I guess heard anything and, and know anything more about um, where the future of that lies? No. I mean, where the World Cup's concerned, I've, I've probably um, seen it a bit like the Olympics, um, and, and it can be postponed and moved a year without any real impact on, on, on anything. Uh, I think a, a World Cup without any crowds would be a disappointment. Um, it is about celebrating different cultures and people coming together. So um, I would support any, any move that ensures people will be able to um, uh, watch that game. Um, I'll, I'll invite um, our chair to come in and answer some questions. So I guess in the same sense, um, your reaction, I guess, when you found it, and there was I guess, some indication in the, in, the, in the paper today from you that there's a bit of disappointment about the way, I guess, you found out about this. It wasn't directly from Cricket Australia. Oh, look, we were, we were waiting for confirmation. Um, we'd had some indication that we'd, we'd find out, and I had press contacting me before I actually found out. But that, look, apart from that, look, I just wanted to say that uh, as chair of the WACA, and on behalf of the WACA and all cricket lovers in Western Australia, I'm really disappointed in this decision. I actually think it's the wrong decision. Uh, we made uh, a really compelling case uh, along with the government to Cricket Australia, and I looked at that again this morning, and when I went through it, I just can't understand why they'd make that decision. I do understand it's difficult for Cricket Australia, they have to make the call, and as Christina said, we will now pick up the cudgels and we'll get on with it, and. Um, Afghanistan are an exciting emerging team. Players like Rashid Khan, who we see star here during our 2020 competition. So there's plenty to, to be excited about with Afghanistan and with Christine and the leadership team here at the WACA, I'm sure going to put on a great cricket event. But I am, I am disappointed. And as Christina said, I actually think it's a kick in the guts to WA, uh, to all our cricket loving people in WA and to our WACA members. Um, when you've got one of the best stadiums in the world and when you've got the second best cricket venue in the world, the time slots back to India for TV, etc. to me it's a no-brainer. So disappointed, understand it's a you know, tough decision for Cricket Australia and as Chris said, you know, good luck to Queensland and I wish them all the best with their, with their test match. The States have had to obviously lobby throughout this process yeah. to get these tests. Is there any point in that, doing that in the future at all? Given oh no, well I will always continue to lobby and, and I want to thank uh, the State Government. State Government have been really supportive of the WACA and uh, Minister Mick Murray and Minister Paul Papalia with Christine and I met uh, with Cricket Australia and they were fantastic in, in their support. Um, and. And you know, I just, it, it's good to have that ongoing relationship. We'll continue to lobby Cricket Australia because I think what happens is we're a long way away and um, it's probably a little bit harder for us to lobby 
uh, as, as we're not there all the time. However, I just want to point out that now this is a great sporting state. You have a look at what this state contributes in sport to our country. Our governments have built and, and put great um, events on at a magnificent stadium. It just seems a bit silly to me not to utilise that. Oh, look, I'll be, we'll be talking to Cricket Australia about this. Obviously we will. And, and we'll keep putting the pressure on because I, as chairman of the WACA, and along with Christina and, and our team, uh, we've got a responsibility to cricket in Western Australia, right from Wyndham in the north to Esperance in the south, to cricket supporters, the fans that support us, and to our members who are great supporters. And I, I feel disappointed for our members who have really been loyal and, um, and you know, loyal that they don't get to see the top country. However... We'll make, a, we'll make a good fist of the uh, Afghanistan test.